Virgos, welcome to your single mid-November read, Meet the Soulmate. Welcome to the urban jungle of Cancun and Mikasa. And now I guess my studio. <laughs> uh, it's evening here, just falling. So thank you for joining me, guys. Um, mid-November, give it for the time frame. I see this being a predicted read, so it's not meant to read someone in your life right now there'll be more of the heart spread which you also have uh, always on Wednesday is uh, Leo Virgo day and um, this is going to just ask spirit to help us identify with the one who's right for you so it shouldn't be a triggery read it should kind of be always a positive read um, they may not be perfect but this is the one that's best for you for your soul's purpose you call it a soulmate no there's lots of soulmates, huh? This is like, God, you know, what? which soulmate do you have around me that'd be the best? I'm going to snag him out of the air, bring him down. He's probably circling, you know, because he can't land. Or she can't land. And um, I'm going to bring him down to earth. Go pick him up, take him to a restaurant, and we're going to get to know him a little bit. Look for personality and behavior, mostly uh, personal stories, personal history, childhood. So you get an idea what they do. Um, I look for astrology. We're going to get the sun, the moon, the Venus, and the Mars at least as we go along. Sometimes we'll get more. So I want you to know this person as they come up. Know that this is the one. Because you're going to be as I'm describing them. And I want you to get back to me, please, and let me know um, that you found them. So, oop, oop, here's this uh, person, Dave. Maybe two weeks from now, it's mid-November read. Time is a funny thing. <laughs> These readings come from this timeless place, guys, for us. And now, your person. Wow. Empress. The emotional position. Wow. Taurus moon, tell you that. Nine of Pentacles, big time. Taurus Moon is probably very well placed too. Maybe it's in the second house. Okay. Hermit is in the intellectual position for them. Major Akana. Up top we see the conscious. Here we see the unconscious. Here we look at emotional. Here we look at intellectual. Here we're going to see the sun. Certainly does look like a Virgo sun, doesn't it? With the fool. The hermit over the fool. Now this person, first of all, we do have a Virgo sun. And we do have a Taurus moon, so the Earth person is very strong. And their moon is really strong in them. God, I don't want to say that we have another single mother, but this person, male or female, their mother would be very big in their life and a, a, a possibly a bigger than life character, and, and maybe rightfully so. There's nothing here bad. Uh, the Empress over the Nine of Pentacles. And I say it's a happy bachelor card. This is someone that can take care of themselves. Now, if they weren't a single parent, they come from a very stable household uh, with whole parents who can take care of themselves. And the Empress is uh, abundance and nurturing. So this is like a very good childhood here. I'm not really getting whether they had siblings or not. Possibly not. We do have the hermit here in the sun energy at the top in Virgo. What would be the fool? Maybe. Maybe Mercury and Scorpio. Let's see. This is in the sexual position. The Eight of Swords. Over the page of Pentacles. Let's look at the lifestyle and core values. The Ace of Pentacles. A lot of earth energy with this person. Very grounded. Over the lovers. And that's interesting. That's in their lifestyle and their core values. So you could say this is going to be someone who believes in love. Um, and one first question I have is unless they're just young and never been married yet. Um, how did they get single? Because they, they don't look like a person who would, um, they, they seem like they would be sensible 
and they're grounded and emotionally whole, um, cautious here. Um, they have insight with the Mercury, Scorpio, Mercury and Scorpio. They they have the ability to see into people, read people. Here. Now Virgo's son can be not to make a fight with Virgos. Can be kind of naive. So it kind of depend. You know, Mercury's only at the service of the sun or the king, kingdom. So. If the sun don't listen to what Mercury says, Mercury goes, uh, I think these people are bad. Don't don't make a deal with them. And then you do it. Mm -hmm. As um, Mercury can't help. <sighs> Sexually. I don't want to say something happened to them. You know, it's a little bit like the last reading with this. Something happened to them. It, I mean, I'm not talking necessarily they were raped or anything, uh, but something happened that was difficult for them. Would have been around adolescence. Would have been uh, early 20s to the teens, somewhere in there. Early 20s at the latest, maybe more like teens. I mean, could go into like college days. Um, and this is someone who, remember, is a Virgo, so they're in, with, represented here by the Hermit. So they're very modest, uh, very sincere. Um, it, it could almost be like, uh, again, they're going to be the one that listens. Um, you almost might think they're mocking you, they're so sincere. There's the look about them and the way they might respond. Um, you know, I imagine they would listen, and most of their responses would be responding to you, um, uh, feedback on what you said. Um, Page of Pentacles. So they're very slow to uh, advance. They're very slow, like sexually, man or woman. They they really. I would really be surprised to see this person doing like a one night stand and I mean it could almost be from a position of being a little bit afraid of it for some reason guys um, um, and it surely does feel like a Virgo Mars with the page of Pentacles you know modest even uh, sexually I mean, it's someone like they would kind of need permission. And know it's like if you were making out, let's say, you know, you get going and, you know, they might, they would need you to just, they would need to stop and go, wait, are we, is it okay to proceed and to make love now? And you'd have to say, yes, it's okay. And then, be, then it's on like that, basically, you know, um, not a bad thing. But this seems, seems like a Libra of Venus too, though. They've got that Empress energy and a Libra of Venus, and now in a Taurus Mars very Venus energy. I mean, if this is a man, I think they're very mild mannered and very charming, probably very good looking, in a in a like a neutral way. If that makes sense, you know. Um, not not a not a boyish handsomeness or a rugged manliness, but you know, uh, right in the middle there, like a model maybe. Um, and it, if it's a woman, just uh, femme, very feminine, mm, ultra femme type personality uh, here. You know, Virgo, people forget it's very feminine energy to start with. Certainly, uh, Taurus Moon is a very feminine, um, soft energy. Virgo, Mars, or sexualities in that. And now you put into their love nature. Um, the, the relationship so and you got the lovers down here They're very relationship oriented this is someone that loves relationships they love love they probably don't make any bones about it um, they might like uh, just like romantic things and romantic love um, and with the ace of pentacles over the lover I think what that mainly means is again this page of pentacles like they want to be certain before they make love they want to feel safe it's the same kind of thing they're not going to give themselves to a course of action ergo a career 
unless it's something they really love they feel really drawn to it really love for it and then when they once they do it they give everything okay so another thing their career means everything to them their career is uh, a lot about how they give their love to the world it they very well could be an entrepreneur if not they're just one of those lucky people that's just doing what they literally love to do so <laughs> this is not bad but this career whatever it is will be just be a part of your life now because that's part of their life um, so that gives us a good bit to go on, I think, guys. Um, let me know what you think. It's meant to be a predictive read, so you may not be see this person right now. But hopefully soon, in November time frame, and do let me know if they show up. And if you start to see this, and we have some pretty good uh, things that go on, um, then you can let me know if um, you think that's your person, because I hope that it is. Thank you.